they want us to find the equation of the line that goes through 5, 0, and it's perpendicular to this. So the first thing I need to do is use this information. If it's perpendicular to this line, that means the slope is the negative reciprocal of this line right here. And what's the slope of this line? Negative 1. Negative 1. So what's the negative reciprocal or the opposite reciprocal of negative 1? 1. Positive 1. Very good. So our slope for our line is going to be positive 1. So now if I told you that the slope was equal to 1 and it goes to the point 5, 0, what's the easiest way to write the equation of that line? It's called point-slope form. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. There's my x sub 1, there's my y sub 1, and there's my m. So plug and chug. y minus 0. I'll plug, in, plug that in even though I don't need that yet. Or I don't need that in the end. Equals x minus 5. Now simplify it. y equals x minus 5. And there's the equation of the line. Now sometimes they want you to write it in point-slope form. Sometimes they want you to write it in standard form. This one they want us to write it in standard form. So is this standard form yet? No. No, but I can put it in standard form by moving the x to the other side by subtracting it and writing it first. Negative x plus y equals negative 5. And there's your answer. And actually, some, some books teach you to, to make your leading coefficient positive. So to get rid of this negative x here, I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1, meaning switch all the signs. So there's your answer. Your answer is x minus y equals 5. That's, that's standard form for the textbook that you're using in this class.